Okay, so remember when I was talking in that last uh, quick take on removing the fuel level sender, I mentioned removing the rust off of it by using electrolysis. This is something that I discovered just recently. You're using electricity to pull rust off of an item. You have to create a solution that the electricity will flow through and the movement of the electrons coming from the thing you're wanting to pull rust off of, it yanks the rust and sticks it to the anode. I used coffee cans like this as my anode. This is gonna be the magnet, quote unquote. So it's gonna attract the rust to it from the item you're trying to remove rust from. I grabbed a couple of other bolts out of the van just to use as an example. So you can see like this bolt, the head is rusted. It still has zinc on it from here, a good chromate uh, finish on it. But there's rust on the threads, there's rust on the head. This is a great way of just basically pulling rust off of different items on your vehicle so that you can refinish them. So this is a anode that I've already used. What I did with this is just like this one, I cut the bottoms and tops off of these cans. But this one I split in the middle. You want to suspend your, your item in the center of this. And what it's going to do is the electrodes are going to flow directly from the item from one to the other. The positive and negative electrons are going to flow. So as long as your item is in here, it's going to pull the rust and it's going to stick it to the steel. And the, the steel is going to rust as well because of the action. And I'm sure there are guys out there that know a lot better way of explaining this than I am. The way that I've done this is I have an electrical um, controller here that I can set my, my level. You can use, if you'll look this up online, there are people who use battery chargers. They use all kinds of different things. So I have a copper tube up top. I've taken wire and wired in my pieces that I'm going to remove the rust from. So I just wa uh, wind some copper wire around the bolt. It creates a connection within the solution. I take this and I just simply hang it on the pipe. Negative goes to the item that you're wanting to clean. Positive goes to the anode or the sacrificial steel, the coffee can. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Positive to the can or the sacrificial steel, negative to the bolt or the item you're wanting to strip. Now the solution, I'll tell you what that is. For every gallon, you wanna put one tablespoon of soda in there. But what it does is it's gonna allow the, uh, the water to conduct the electricity much better. So it's, it's making it more of a conductive uh, agent. You wanna mix it up really well, get it dissolved, and then your electrolyte is made. So then it's just a matter of taking your copper tubing, hanging all your items on it that you wanna strip and clean, and then getting this guy set up. I've got it set to six volts. 0.87 amps so if you want to do more research there's a lot out there right now I've got my fuel level sender in there and it's been sitting overnight to truly strip something hundred percent you really need to give it some time this thing will froth up and get really gross everything that you've put into that water is what's coming out so even though it looks really gross and looks really toxic it's basically only the soda that's in there your water and rust. And if there's oil or paint, that'll be floating on the top as well. So you can dispose of that stuff without creating any kind of major issue. I'm gonna pull this guy out, clean it up a little bit, brush it off, cause it does leave like a black residue uh, because of the chemical change as it's stripped. But I'll clean it off really well. And then I'll show you what it looks like in the end before I reinstall it. So there you have it. And this was fairly clean ahead of time. I just wanted to really get something that would go deep into this. So when this thing has the action of when the, when the arm goes up and down, that maybe it'll contact appropriately, hopefully. So we'll see. If it doesn't work, I'll just do what I've always done and just keep a small thing of gas in the car. But anyway, at least that's an introduction to electrolysis for you. I hope you guys have fun uh, discovering new things uh, while working on your vans and uh, be safe out there. I'll see you next time.